10 millimeter 3D printed Roman strips from Cromarty Forge. Um, let's get these painted. Um, I've used Army Painter Dragon Red primer um, and the bases have then been painted with Vallejo German Camo Black Brown. Um, and the first thing I'm going to tackle is all the steel on the model um, and I'm using Army Painter Plate Mail uh, Metal. Um, we've got pylon to paint, we've got a helmet, we've got some of the lamellar armour. can afford to be a, a little bit messy. Um, the flesh is going to get painted in later. Um, and part of the shield design as well. Round about the, the boss and the horizontal part of the design. Um, back of the model, what does that look like? Um, we do have some strapping and leather straps going over the shoulder. But again, doesn't really matter if that gets the silver on it for now. Um, I try and avoid part of the sleeve of the tunic that's showing. Back of the pylon. Right, I'm going to go along all these strips, pick out all the silver. Applied a lot of plate mail metal. Next I'm going to try and pick out carefully is the wood um, shafts of the, the pylum. And this is Vallejo model colour cork brown. This is Vallejo Flat Earth and I am using it to pick out um, leather, so straps and also sandals, uh, the scabbard and belt. There isn't a whole lot of uh, skin see on the front of the models. But you might see the knuckles gripping uh, the pylum. Um, and faces, you can just see like the nose and eyes, a bit of the mouth. So I'm picking this out with Army Painter Cobalt Skin. Uh, looking at the back of the model though, Got more to work with here. So you can see the arm. I've got short sleeves on um, and calves as well. Um, and sandals would be open toed, so you can just put a wee dab of skin colour there if you like. Okay, on with the rest of the strips. Perhaps the most impressive thing about these miniatures is that all the detail is on the shield. Um, it's all raised detail, so you can paint it rather than having to think about uh, cutting and applying um, transfers like you do with um, other plain shields. I'm going to make these really sing with gold trim, um, so Vallejo gold. You can almost you can almost dry brush um, across the top of these details to pick them out. Do the shield rims as well. So they're looking half decent. A wash will really help bring out the details. It will help tidy up any slight overspills of paint. So I have some Army Painter Strong Tone um, and this is in a one-to-one a -one ratio with Army Painter Quick Sheet Mixing Medium. Um, apply this once it's all dry I will base things up um, and do any necessary tidying up and we can have a look at the finished result.
And here are those Legionnaires all based. Um, and as you can see, they're beside some friends. So this commission included uh, the rest of a Roman army as well. Um, the vast majority of figures are 3D printed from Chromity Forge. Um, the ballistae in the centre of the back row, um, they're 10mm metal um, from Gripping Beast. We've got everything from Numidian Light Cavalry. Command models, slingers, Praetorian guard in purple, and um, some auxiliary infantry with uh, blue robes and uh, green wreaths on the shields, auxiliary archers, and some. Germanic cavalry and cavalry commanders, auxiliary cavalry, in the back row, scorpions, the ballistae, and some onagers and the catapults. And because my client is wanting to use this in some fantasy wor worlds as well. Here's a 3D printed uh, basilisk, um, assassin, harpies, uh, wizard, and hydra. Um, if I can find the details as to who the supplier of those is, I will put it in the description. Um, overall, I would say that the Cromty Forge 10mm Romans are excellent. Um, it's a great look en masse once completed. Um, they're very highly detailed and the raised details on the shields for example take paint really well and if you've enjoyed this video please give it a like and I'll speak to you next time. Final thanks to my client for letting me film these models. Bye bye.